Hey, what's going on everyone? Tom here, the consultant. Today, I'm going to take you through how to set up Tradevate's data feed, the SIM, and the market replay. So I'm going to break all of that down, show you how to uh, set it up, what you need to subscribe to within Tradevate. I myself had a little bit of trouble with that to do it. You have to subscribe to three different things. Uh, and it, it makes it a little confusing because you have to pay for them individually. Okay, you can't just put everything into a, a shopping cart and check out all at once. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to go to tradeavate.com. So if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one, jump down that rabbit hole of confirmation, stuff like that. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. So I've already got an account. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Okay, so here you are going to be presented with a couple of options. You have live trading, market replay, and simulation. So this was the first confusing part that uh, really kind of tripped me up. I didn't really know what I needed to do. so. Um, the very first subscription that you're going to want to do is the simulation. So click on simulation. Um, it should automatically bring you to, to something that looks like, like, like this. Okay. Um, go ahead and close that. Well, So it should bring you to something like this. Um, I've already subscribed to the simulation plan and it should ask you, uh, you know, what membership you want. If you want to do a live account or if you want to do SIM, go ahead and uh, sign up for the SIM. It's the SIM is $12.95. Um, I don't think it's really, I don't think it's really that bad, um, but I think the SIM account comes free if you deposit um, money into a live account so I, I think that kind of comes with it as well so keep that in mind if you plan on doing this with your own money once you have that set up um, the next thing you're gonna want to do so the, the sim account you're, you're gonna you're gonna end up paying for that um, you're gonna go through that that checkout process and then afterwards you're gonna come back and the subscriptions uh, you're gonna want to look for market data so I've already got it. Here you can see it's $15 a month. Here's the here's the thing about the market data. Market data runs, I believe, I believe the market data pricing runs from the first of the month all the way through the 30th or the 31st. Now what that means is if you subscribe to CME or any market data for that matter on, you know, October 20th. Okay. You're going to get charged at that point in time and then you're going to get you should get charged again when the data fee renews on the first like you see here okay so when you when you go to choose what market data that you want you'll have quite a few quite quite a few options to choose from um as you can see here they are priced differently so you have cme group uh, you know, market depth level two, uh, you can, so yeah, you, you've got, you've got some other options here that you can as well. Um, Eurex, ICE futures, Dow Jones, key indices, stuff like that. So if, if you look at view all products, when you do this, you'll see what, uh, what all is included. So if you're looking for, you know, um, stuff like, uh, metals like copper or palladium, uh, agriculture, corn, oil, uh, you've got like hogs, and you've got lean, lean hogs, soy, wheat, corn, stuff like that, natural gas. Um, yeah, there, there, there's a ton to, to look at. Um, you know, all of it, if you wanted, if you wanted to subscribe to everything, that CME has it's roughly about forty dollars a month. So, me for what I need, I only chose the uh, the 
one with the currencies. So uh, for the most part, the currency one, uh, you're, you're going to get the, the euro, the yen, the pound, um, all, all, all of the currencies. And then you're also going to get stuff like, uh, uh, you know, the S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, uh, the Kai, stuff like that. So once you have that, at that point in time, you can trade live markets. Okay. We're going to go one step further and we are going to do the market replay. Head on over to, uh, you're, you're going to be on the same page and you're going to go to add-ons. Okay. It's going to take you to a bunch of other stuff that you can subscribe to as well. Market replay is $49 a month. Okay. So the market replay and the SIM are going to be, uh, again, they're, they're going to be charged um, on a 30 day basis, uh, you know, from the point that you actually pay for them. Uh, the market replay is, is going to be different. It's going to be, you know, from the first to the 31st or the end of the month or whatever it does. So $49 a month, that's, that's going to be your, your largest charge. Once you have all of your subscriptions, you have your login information, keep that with you because next we are going to uh, set all of that up with Jigsaw. Now Jigsaw, um, Jigsaw Day Trader has its own documentation on how to do this. I'm just kind of going to demonstrate it for you for you know the purposes of the video, just kind of follow through with everything. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the connections and then you're going to want to do new. So it, it looks a little weird, okay, um, when you do this. So click new and then you're going to want to go to uh, Tradevate, right here, Tradevate A. So when you click on that, it should bring up a window. It looks like this. So the connection, the connection, you can just name it. The connection name, you can just name it whatever you want. Um, you know, Tim's Tradevate, Tim's Sim Replay, whatever it is. Um, what I have mine set to is Sim. Uh, which is basically just going to be the live data sim account and then I have one for replay so name this whatever you want test description is the same thing test and then here you're gonna for the username and password you're gonna want to put in the your login information for trade of okay once you do that I'm not gonna put mine in here uh, but once you do that, so since you're paying for data, as it isn't demo data, you, you're going to want to do live, and it's automatically going to put in this live API dot trade of eight. Okay. Once you have that, just go ahead and press OK. It'll put it over here, and then uh, we'll, we'll go in that. We'll go a step further here in a minute. But let's go ahead and, and do our replay one. You're going to want to go to new, hit trade of eight, come back. You're going to do the same thing for the connection, the description, the username and password. But this time <clears throat> you're going to want to use live data. You're going to want to hit replay and then the login with OAuth. Okay. Once you have all of that, go ahead and press OK. Now, when you go to log into these, Okay, we're just going to hit connect. The OAuth is going to bring up the trade of eight uh, login screen. Um, kind, kind of like you, I mean, it, you should already be familiar with this. It, it looks exactly the same. Okay, once you get logged in, uh, everything should uh, kind of start falling into place. W once you get logged in, go ahead and hit down here to the download instruments. It should bring up the symbol download here and from here you're just gonna you're gonna hit CME and you're gonna hit update now update is going to download everything uh, if you're doing this for the first time it'll do it again um, but if you already have everything downloaded you can probably do refresh I normally just do uh, update hit download it'll Take a moment, you should see something down here, um, kind of going through that. We'll just kind of wait. Yes, there we go. Download complete. 
go ahead. And, and the reason why you want to do this, you want to do this about probably about every three weeks or so, and that's so that you uh, you get the new contracts downloaded. Really, that's it. There, there's really not much more to it than that. Um, I'm not going to go into uh, you know how the the inner workings of how Tradeabate works once you get in there and you start messing with their platform. I don't necessarily use their platform. This is a good way for uh, you know for you to utilize Jigsaw. Um, and, and, and to be honest, the, the same the same process is is really going to be used across many other platforms. So it's it's going to be the same process uh, if you use. Uh, Quant Trader, which I also use um, as well. I do the same thing with uh, with my brokers. That's kind of why I use Quant Trader or Quant, Quant Trader, Quant Tower. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a great platform. I, I may I may do something similar to that uh, in a later video, but it, it's really pretty straightforward. If you can do this, you can do that one. Um, but other than that. I wanted to show you that because the subscriptions were um, a little bit confusing when I first encountered them. I didn't really know, like, okay, why, why am I, why am I paying for the sim now, and then I have to go back buy data, pay for that separately, and then I have to go back and pay for the replay separately. So every recurring month, it will charge you individually for each and every single one of those. I don't know why that is. I don't know why they have it set up that way. It's a little bit of a nuisance, but um, I, I, I kind of wish it was. I, I kind of kind of wish it was all lumped up into one, but you know, it's each of their own. I guess it doesn't matter. It all costs the same. So other than that, that's really all I got, guys. If you're interested in any of these tools, I don't promote any tools that. I don't actually use so everything you find down in the description below all of those links they are affiliate links um, in a lot of cases you get a discount I get a kickback just being transparent that's how affiliate links work um, but all of those tools down there all of those brokers are ones that I actually use okay I, again I don't promote anything that I don't use so feel free to feel free to uh, check those out down below. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think of you know Jigsaw Day Trader. Let me know what you think of uh, Trade of Eight. Uh, you know, the CME data stuff like that. Um, let me know how it goes. How you know? Let me, let me know how it goes for you guys. And um, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.